has little gem gems hidden all over the city. And you could live here most of your life and still not know about these places. Our adventure seeker Chris Delcamp found one of those places on Belle Isle that's hidden in plain sight. Welcome to the Dawson Great Lakes Museum on Belle Isle. A lot of people when they come to Belle Isle will drive right by our front door. They don't understand what's inside the Dawson Great Lakes Museum. A glimpse at history starts before you even get in the building. That's an anchor from the Edmund Fitzgerald and it sits right out front. The ship sailed into a storm in 1975 and was never seen again. But how did the museum get an anchor from a lost ship? She happened to stop one evening in the fog and dropped anchor. And in the morning when they pulled the anchor up, the anchor didn't come up. The anchor stayed on the bottom. The anchor was recovered and now sits as a memorial to the men lost in the Great Lakes. But that's a whole other story. Let's go inside. Prepare yourself. Immediately when I walk in, I'm blown away by this entryway room. It looks like maybe an ancient church or something, where in fact it's kind of like the guy's cigar room. It's called the Gothic Room, and it came directly out of a steamer ship called the City of Detroit 3. The stunning craftsmanship and rich wood tones is a testament to old style class. This scale model shows what the ship looked like in its heyday. Then you walk into our Built by the River exhibit. Built by the river literally means Detroit. Built by the river. And the river helped build Detroit. Detroit was at one time the busiest waterway in the world, moving more tonnage in the early part of the last century than either the Port of New York and the Port of London put together. The museum surrounds you with interactive displays and reminders of Detroit's history. And then you get to the south end of the building. This is one of the other brilliant things about this museum. Right now I'm standing in the pilot house of the William Clay Ford. This is what it looked like when it was on the ship. See that? Cool, right? So they took it off the ship and it's now sitting up against the Detroit River on the riverside of this museum where you can go and pretend you're driving the boat. When the Ford was no longer needed and was scrapped, the pilot house came to us and it's here as a, as a probably the largest artifact, single artifact that we have. So next time you're out on Belle Isle, don't just drive past this seemingly unassuming blue building on the south side of the island. It's there to tell a story. In fact, this building was the first building purpose built to tell Great Lakes history in this region. And we've been doing it ever since. The Dawson Great Lakes Museum is run by the Detroit Historical Society. It also offers private tours, an event hall available to rent, and features rotating exhibits. And the best part about it, it's free, free 99. Wow, the Detroit Historical Society also runs the Detroit Historical Museum on Woodward, which is also free 99. Free 99. <laughs> Next.